<laughs> Has it ever happened to you that you are unable to satisfy your partner? Sad. I can't relate. Your mama loves this boy. And well, her cookies, peanut butter and chocolate. Don't worry, bro. Or sis, if you are lesbian, I've got you covered. Meat. Ham, not the edible one, you idiot. Horny ass mouse. Ham. And well, this is the world's most inappropriate computer mouse. But trust me, this is the only solution to your problems in bed. Enough yapping. Come on, I'll just show you what it does. Also, this has laser because lasers are fucking cool, you idiot. Anyway, let's turn her on. Two steps. Just two steps to turn her on. Scroll and click. Repeat after me. Scroll and click. Now, without much foreplay, let's turn her on. Blinding by the laser. Scroll. Scroll. Now the best part. Scroll and click. <laughs> Shit. Once more. Scroll and click. Again, scroll and click. <laughs> I am soaking wet right now. Now that you have seen me wet, let's get into the electronics, okay? Now, the electronics. Well, I have disconnected the nozzle for now. There's the bottle, so let me remove this first. I'm using this cover to protect the circuit board from any water spillage because, yeah, well, it's electronics. I don't know why you need such info, but I think it means that you are dumb. So, for the turret, again, I'm using micro servos and laser, of course, because lasers are fucking cool, you idiot. Moving on to Arduino Nano and a relay module. The relay module is now my bestest friend because it does that taka 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 sound. Now, the rest of the electronics is an Arduino Nano of course to communicate with this whole electronic setup. Then underneath that I have also connected the laser here directly through the ground and 5 volt output and I have connected 300 microfarad capacitors in parallel yeah and the cool part about the circuit is it is layered one so the kind you see in printed circuit boards which is already layered when it's printed so i replicated that here i hot glued all the connections onto the board because i don't want any loose connections or water drama and i hot glued the relay board here so why the relay board you may ask it is for the water pump i'm using which is directly connected to this bottle here that one is the submersible kind which you have to submerge the mouth of the water completely into your water reservoir or your fluid reservoir whatever you want it also there is a IN4007 series diode inside this to not let any current flow back and this relay actually works as a switch because I wanted to make this more compact but I could not get my hands on any, any logic MOSFETs so I had to work with the relay and it kind of made the circuit chunky but I mean you saw how it works so I don't think that's a problem anymore. This this is the most beautiful piece of soldering I have ever done in my life. I'm really proud of what I did here. Also now the casing. So this plastic was just lying around I don't know some hard shell plastic case. So I used that for that yeah and this flaccid type thing it is i think actually from an umbrella so i used that to maybe i thought that would reduce weight and apparently it did also then i fixed the strap onto this to mount the mouse here and also i added a hot glue to block the mouse from going ahead or even slipping because this gives me a lot of friction and obviously velcro to fix this up then the plastic lid goes upon to protect this whole circuit from any water spillage. And oh my god the laser, I love this. Also, 
I use this pen that you usually use to fill air in footballs or any balls you play with for the nozzle because if you know fluid dynamics when you decrease the volume of a certain area the velocity increases so the total volume of this pen compared to this whole tube is inherently less and that increases the output velocity when the pump pulls the water from this reservoir near yeah, using basic physics here so that was it for the electronics i think it is time to explain you the worst part which is coding now if you remember from the last video in which i used the face recognition and laser tracking well i am using that again but with some addition so what the addition is is that it uh, detects what i do with my mouse so if i scroll it detects that and plays the sound and if i click the middle button it squirts water on me that is it Th that is the whole code whole additional code yeah there's nothing more than that okay now if you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing because making such stupid videos takes a lot of effort because a wise man once told me that it takes effort to come up with something innovative and it takes a lot more effort to come up with something innovative and stupid so yeah please subscribe and also comment if you have any stupid ideas and also that i forgot to mention the random word for the last video so i think today's word is this yep that anyway i enjoyed making this and i think it is one of my most innovative and satisfying builds because i built a fucking three layered pcb from scratch because pcb way won't sponsor me yet at 47 subs but anyway love you all 47 guys bye